Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Eddie. Today, Tuesday, 4 April, short TA update on Bitcoin. Uh, it's my last couple of days in Thailand, so I'm taking it easy a little bit, so I will make it short but powerful. Uh, five charts in total, so let's quickly jump into the first chart over bam, bam here and that's my mini dd guys now that's the four hour chart on the four hour chart uh, we can see massive sideways movement since the 19th of march that's almost three weeks now that we are going sideways and every time we try to break the 28k level 28,700 uh, is the most important line that orange line there we are building more and more structure it's more and more um, volume being created while well, every time we want to dip we don't dip and everything is bought up against uh, so, um, in my opinion, we are up and waiting for that net next uh, move upwards, guys. That's what we see mostly when we go sideways for a long period. Look over here, sideways, sideways, sideways. We fall down, but then we went up again. Sideways, 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 you fall down, but we went up again. Sideways, sideways, sideways. Yes, we can fall down 27 or even 25 and then go up again. But in the long term, I think you need to zoom out and we are going up. I think even we could break this one and uh, go all the way up to 32,000 US dollar, as I said in yesterday's or the day before. Um, now let's quickly jump and zoom out a little bit. This is the Gaussian channel. The Gaussian channel and um, every candle is five days. So it's a five day chart. And on the five day chart, we've been talking many times about that one. We have been saying um, when the candles go above that channel again and retest that channel, that is very bullish. Because if we look to into the history, every time that this happens, we're going to zoom out slowly now so you can see it. And then after a certain amount spending above red area, let's say over here, for example, the first time, after spending a couple of candles above it, we turn green again. Bam. And from that moment, we go up. After spending a few candles above it, we turn green again. And bam, it's only up. After a couple of candles spending above it, we will turn green again. And bam, we will again go up. So yes, again, even if you look at this chart, this is the perfect moment to spy into Bitcoin. If you're, if you're really hesitant and you're really doubting, yes, then you can wait. Maybe you need to wait till we retest that the top red line over there, which is around 25,600. Why would you risk it or be stressing about it, uh, about that one or two thousand dollar difference in Bitcoin, if you really believe that Bitcoin will create a new all-time high in the next two years? So that means above 70k. For example, if you buy a 28 and it goes it goes to 75 gates times three almost. If you buy a 25 and it goes to 75, it's also times three. So you're tripling your capital by buying around this area over here, guys. And it's looking more bullish and bullish every day for Bitcoin because if we look at the news and everything that's happening and the wars and the economic shit show of uh, the US dollar collapsing and the banks collapsing, Bitcoin is holding pretty nicely around 27 28k it's a very beautiful store of value at the moment bam over here on the weekly we can see it look it's these are weekly candles that is one week touching the 28 level second week touching the 28 level third week touching the 28 level and now we are on the fourth week that's almost one month in total that we are bouncing against the 28k level which at the moment is the higher high and yes, like I've been saying, after higher high, we need to create a higher low. As long as we stay above this higher low of 19,000, we create a higher low. Higher low. So for me, I think the higher low will be somewhere between 24 and 26,000 US dollar. And that 200 weekly moving average at the moment is around that 25,800 US dollar. So if we would fall down like this, like come here to create a higher low, and pick it up again over there then to these higher highs that is a normal move that bitcoin can make and it can take one two three months so don't freak out but zoom out now i have one more important chart i want to share with you bam that is this one this one was used during my presentations in the netherlands uh, we did six places i think all over the netherlands and i uh, you know just did a talk give away free books and uh, educated people on bitcoin and i used this one at that moment and i told people look for me, it's very simple. Every world reserve currency has a build-up period 
Over here, we can see that this was the world reserve currency, uh, but there was a build-up period from the Spanish peseta at that moment, which became the world reserve currency. During that part, we had the 30 years war. There was a build-up period for the Dutch guilder to become the world reserve currency. And during that, we had here the build-up period of the France, of the French franc. And then we had the pound, the build-up period, and then we had the US dollar as a build-up period. And at the moment, we can see a build-up period of Bitcoin, in my opinion. And yes, you could also see central bank's digital currencies, which is completely opposite of Bitcoin. And I think 50% of the world is hoping on the central bank's digital currencies. But for me, Bitcoin should be the new world reserve currency. It is possible, in my opinion. And why? Because Bitcoin will take 120 years for the last Bitcoin to be mined in the year 2140. So if you look at the average amount of years that a world reserve currency um, succeeds or exists, it's 110 years, it's 105 years, it's 95 years, it's 80 years, it's 110 years, it's 80 years. So those 120 years till the last Bitcoin will be mined can be a beautiful there can be a beautiful role for Bitcoin as a world reserve currency. Because all these countries already had their chance. The United States, the UK, France, the Netherlands, Spain, uh, Portugal. Okay, maybe you could discuss that the Yuan is coming, the Chinese world reserve currency. But I do think that too many countries don't want that. So if they start to fight at the end, and if there will be a huge fight um, talking about, let's say, okay, uh, we can't agree anymore because there's a huge war and China and Russia are together and the United States and Europe are together and we don't want to use one of these countries' world reserve currency. Maybe at the end they get that smart that they can understand that that is exactly the role that Bitcoin could play as a world reserve currency that they use to calculate all the stuff that they need to calculate in international trades, the oil prices and all that other stuff. So for me... I really believe that this is a possibility because I don't believe that the United States, UK, Europe is going to accept the yuan as a world reserve currency. And I don't believe the Chinese and Russians are going to accept, uh, again, the dollar as a world reserve currency. So there needs to be something new. They all don't trust each other's central banks because the Fed and the ECB don't trust the Chinese central bank or the Russian central bank, so that won't be a solution as well. The, uh, the central bank's digital currency, so there needs to be something that all these countries can't influence, so that all these countries independently understand from each other, okay, this is really safe to use that as a world reserve currency, because you, China, can't influence it, you, Russia, can't do it, you, Europe, can't do it, you, United States, you can't do it. That's why I've been already talking about this for many years, that Bitcoin could be the beautiful new world reserve currency. And it is perfect in a world where all countries are fighting with each other and don't want each other's currency to be the world reserve currency. All these countries are running into a problem that they can't trust each other anymore. So they will never trust each other's currencies or each other's central bank's digital currencies to become the new world reserve currency. So at the end, when all these dogs are fighting with each other, two dogs are fighting, the third will run away with the bone. So which is the third? I think Bitcoin could be the third decentralized world reserve currency that gives all those countries a little bit peace like oh shit okay nobody can influence this this is safe we use this to calculate all the trades that we are be doing now that was everything for today short but powerful i hope you really enjoyed it if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment what do you think about these charts and what do you think especially about this last one the world reserve currency do you believe that bitcoin could do that could be that let me know down below in the comments thank you for watching see you tomorrow again Bam!